MVC design pattern that is model view controller design pattern. Model actually depicts the data and view will actually depict the way in which the representations will be done to the user and controller controls both the model and the view. So, here is the more discussion on this MVC design pattern. MVC pattern stands for model view controller pattern and the pattern is used to separate applications concerns. So, model, model represents an object or Java POJO. POJO stands for plain old Java object carrying data and model deals with the data. It can also have logic to update controller if its data changes. So, when the data will change, it will update the controller accordingly. Next one is the view. View represents the visualization of the data that model contains. So, it will, it will more concentrate, it concentrate on the representation of our data. And controller, controller acts on both model and view. It controls the data flow into the model object and updates the view whenever data changes. It keeps view and the model separated. So, that this is a concept of MVC design pattern. I think it would be better if you go for one Java application and where we will be running our code, we will be explaining our code, our code will get also assisted with some UML class diagrams for the better understanding. So, here is the code for you and demonstration for you. Let us implement one example which will demonstrate the use of MVC design pattern in our Java. And here we are going to create a student object acting as a model. So, model means which will be dealing with the data. Student view will be used as a view class where the data will be shown, will be accessed, can be viewed and which can print student details on console and student controller is the controller class responsible to store data in student object and update view student view accordingly. MVC pattern demo is our demo class will uh, will use student controller to demonstrate the use of MVC design pattern. So, for more clarity in our discussion, let us go for one uh, problem implementation, we shall explain line by line of this Java code. So, step one create model student dot Java. So, here we are having this student dot Java, you can find that it is having only two variables, one is the uh, there is a member variables, roll number and name and the respective getter function for the roll numbers and setter, getter and setter for roll numbers and also the names are given. You can see the code, very simple code, only roll number and name to string type of private member variables are there and the respective getter and setter functions are there. Now, we shall go for the step number two, create view student view dot Java. So, that is the student view. It is also very much simple. It is having only one method that is a print student details which takes two string as input arguments. One is containing the student name, another one is the student roll number and they are just printing them. So, student there is a caption it will print and then name and the roll number will get printed. So, we have discussed up to step number two that is the create view student view dot Java. Now, going for the step number three create controller student controller dot Java. So, now we are going for this student controller dot Java. So, what to do just coming down to this student controller. So, it, it is having one student object student class object let it be model once to student view class object let it be view here and student controller is the respective uh, constructor parameter as constructor taking the student object and the student view object as input parameters which will initialize this instance variable model and view respectively we are having the set student name so string name will be passed so as there is no name uh, type of string objects are there so we will be going for model dot set name name similarly for a get student name we will be going for model dot get name which will be returned and next we are having this set, set student roll number we are having this roll number as input argument we shall be going for model dot set roll number roll number and for the get roll number also return model dot get roll number in this way we are just having the setter and getter functions on this name and the role now we are having this update view so view dot in case of update view, view dot view is a student view object you know. So, view dot print student details, so model dot get name and model dot get roll number. So, in this way we are having this, so we are having this update view which will take this view dot print student details, so name uh, model dot get name and model dot get roll number. 
So whenever we are going for this print student details, we are passing this name and the roll number, you know that in that case this very function method will get executed and this is the respective body. So now we are going for the step number 4, use the con student controller method methods to demonstrate MVC design pattern usage, so MVC pattern demo.java. So and now we shall be going for the verifying of the output. So going for this MVC pattern demo.java. Here you see we are having this student model is equal to retrieve student from database. So here we are using one method which will retrieve the student details from the database but here we are not using any database here. We do not want to make our program complicated so that you can understand here we have just written student student is equal to new student and student dot set name robot and student dot set role number 10 and return student as if we have retrieved this robot and 10 this respective tuple from the database but that is not true we have just initialized them accordingly and this student object student class object will be returned here so now here you can find that it has been returned so that is in that will initialize this student model student view is equal to new student view student controller controller is equal to new student controller model comma view you know that in case of student controller we had this particular constructor which will take this student object and the student view object as input argument so as well we have passed the same here also and controller dot update view whenever we will be going for this student controller so controller dot update view when we will be going for that then it will call this view dot student uh, print student details so I'll be, I shall be coming down here and here this print student details will get printed this particular method will get executed and the respective things will are, are going to get printed so now we are having this controller dot update view here just giving one line blank we are going for set student name john so here we had our robot and 10 now it has become john and 10 has remained as 10 so controller dot update view will print the uh, john and 10 here so now going for the execution you can find that we are having this student name robot and roll number 10 student name john and roll number 10 in this way the outputs are also very much logical whatever we expected we have got that one here so now going for the uh, class diagram here going for the class diagram we are having this student uh, we are having this particular student uh, java class we are having so this is the student class you can find that we are having this student class so this is the student classes here roll number and name they were uh, under the private section we are having this student constructor and getter and setter for this particular student class you can easily see so we are having getter and setter functions are there on this roll number and name and one student constructor so now here also we are having this student view which is having print student details taking these two strings as input argument and they will get printed accordingly and here we are having one constructor that is the student view so now we are having the student controller so in case of student controller you know that we are having one student class object that is the model one student view class object that is the view so here you see one student view class object that is the view under the private scope and uh, under this particular student we are having one object that is our uh, model and which is also under the private scope this minus is denoting it is under the private scope so we are having this student controller constructor set student name get student name set student role number and get student role number and the update view so in case of student controller we are having all these methods and also the update view and this is our MVC pattern demo so this is the respective code is there and retrieve from uh, retrieve student from database so one method is there that is under the private section and you can find this one there is under the there is a under the private section and static so that's why it is coming like s is there for static and this red symbol is indicating this particular method is under the private section so we have explained that what is our student java student dot java you can you can see i'm just going through all the codes so that you can have a look and you can explain it yourself accordingly student controller we are having this and we have discussed each and every line and also the class diagram so in our demonstration we have shown you that how to implement mvc design pattern using java thanks for watching this video